Well, good day, ladies and gents. If you think Tesla stock is crazy today, just wait for the next nine months, okay? But let's talk about Tesla stock real quick here today. It's up nearly 17% here today, up about $43 a share. It's absolutely unbelievable. It's been everywhere between 289 today and $304 here today. And why is this? Well, we covered this on the channel last night in a 25 minute, very detailed video around the earnings that just came out. And that video went into all the details as far as all the numbers Tesla produced as of right now, okay? But the question is, what is next for Tesla? Now that we've had this crazy day in Tesla stock, and I'm getting a lot of messages from people saying they're up 20%, 30%, 40% on your Tesla shares, congrats, guys. Um, for me personally, it doesn't matter that much. I'm in this for the long haul. Regardless if the stock was up 17% or down 17%, it made no difference to me, okay? But there are five huge things things that are going to happen with Tesla stock in the next nine months that I think is very important to look at, okay? And I think this is a video that is due because it's not just about the past with Tesla. If you're really investing in this company, it's all about the future. In the next nine months, there's five crazy things that are about to affect Tesla stock and Tesla the company in general. So hope you guys enjoy this video here today. Make sure you smash the thumbs up button and uh, share this video with your cousin Ray Ray. Alrighty guys, first thing that is gonna happen with Tesla stock over the next few months, and this actually already happened today, okay? This is already happening, is shorts are starting to cover. This is very, very important. So if you didn't know, Tesla's one of the most shorted stocks out there. If anybody, if you've been a uh, shareholder of Tesla for a while, you know this, okay? Because you've dealt with the shorts, the negativity around Tesla, and how it feels like the world can sometimes be against Tesla. It's like, why is this, okay? There's a massive, massive interest of shorts out there. Now, what we have seen over the last few months, if you look at the data, the short percentage is actually going down for Tesla, meaning there's less and less people shorting Tesla stock and they're covering their shares more and more, okay? Now, after today, I can almost guarantee you there's been even more short covering. There's no data we can look at as of today. We'll have to wait at least a few weeks to see the data behind this, but I can literally guarantee you the shorts have been covering heavily in not only the aftermarket yesterday, but throughout the trading day today. So if you're gonna look about two weeks from now at the data as far as how many people are short Tesla shares, it's gonna have gone down considerably. And if I'm looking out over the next six to nine months, and this video is really covering what's going on for Tesla over the next nine months, I believe there's gonna be mass short covering. And the reason being is I think, you know, the shorts are, most of the shorts, not all of them, but most of them are realizing this is just like this pipe dream of Tesla failing and whatnot, it's just not gonna work out. I mean, if you're looking at it, you really had a couple things to go off of for Tesla. One, you could have said in the past, you know, we're talking about the past, you could have said, Tesla's not a profitable company. They're never gonna be profitable, blah, 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 okay? Three of the last five quarters have now been profitable quarters for Tesla. So if you're short and you're thinking, oh, this company can never get to profitability, okay, three of the last five quarters, they've now been profitable. So if you're a short seller now, that thesis is slowly starting to go away, and 2020 has a decent chance that it could be Tesla's first overall year of profitability. And so if you're a short seller out there, that's rough, okay? And the other thing you had to go off of was competition coming for Tesla. And it, you know, here it is, we're about to go into 2020 and we still have yet to see any, any threat of competition in the EV space for Tesla. So if you're looking at shorts, you're, you've seen a lot of shorts cover and this will continue to be more and more shorts covering their shares. It's not like every day is gonna be an up 17% day because everybody's flooding out of Tesla stock in terms of the shorts. It's just gonna be a considerable amount of those shares that are sold short will be covered and when somebody has to cover their shares or so you know they have to buy those shares back which is how you get a stock to go up you know a ridiculous you know percentage in a day like 17 percent it is absolutely insane okay so that's the first thing we have coming for tesla stock over the next nine months let's get into the other four the second thing we have going on for Tesla stock is actually happening now is Gigafactory Shanghai is getting up and running and Elon Musk. Why did you have to call it Gigafactory Shanghai? I always have been calling it on this channel the Shanghai Gigafactory, man. It just sounds better, I think, than Gigafactory Shanghai, but it is what it is, okay? But needless to say, they're starting to produce vehicles now out of that Gigafactory. And this is gonna start to ramp. The question is now that, uh, that us Tesla shareholders have to look at, we have to think, okay, how fast are they gonna be able to ramp? And this is what we wanna keep an eye on. Are they gonna be able to get to full scale ramp within a month?
month? Are we talking two months? Are we talking like three to six months down the road? Are we talking more than six months? That's what's gonna be very important. If I'm a betting man, I'm gonna say they're probably gonna get a full ramp within three months, okay? Within three months, I think they will be at full ramp for Gigafactory Shanghai, and the reason is, they've already ramped the vehicle in the United States, right? They already know the process of it. The Gigafactory Shanghai is custom designed to be the most efficient manner. They're gonna basically apply everything they've ever learned about ramping a vehicle in a quick amount of time, right? They're gonna apply everything to Gigafactory Shanghai, and this is why I believe within three months, the Model 3 will be at full-scale ramp in the Gigafactory Shanghai. Who knows, maybe that doesn't happen, maybe it takes more than three months, but I believe that is like the time frame we'll be looking at, okay? So it's gonna be very important, and China is gonna be a huge, huge market for Tesla over the long term, potential of being the biggest market for Tesla if you're looking at a long term perspective, okay? Now let's get into number three. The third thing that is coming for Tesla stock over the next nine months is the European Gigafactory location will be announced, okay? There was a very, very small section in the report yesterday that I think a lot of people missed that basically stated that they're in the final stages of approving a location for the European Gigafactory. And this is big, and they even mentioned in the report that they want to open that in 2021. I used to think like that was like a 2022 type play, maybe even 2023. They're talking about 2021, the Gigafactory will open, okay? So within the next nine months, we should hear where they're going to open that. There's a lot of talk about it could be in Germany, it could be in Eastern Europe somewhere. We don't know exactly where it will be as of yet. Um, if, I had, if I was a betting man, I would say somewhere in Germany, probably the European Gigafactory will be announced. But who knows? We'll have to see. But that is going to be great news for Tesla because then you're looking at a situation where they got the Fremont factory for the States. They have a Shanghai Gigafactory, right? And then at this point in time, they would have a European Gigafactory. That, that is phenomenal. And if you're looking at a long-term perspective, I can definitely see a day when Tesla has between 7 and 10 10 automobile manufacturing plants around the world. As of right now, they now have two. Uh, after Europe, they'll have three. I can see longer term, they could have seven to 10. And if that's what they'll probably need if they're gonna get to a place where they start producing millions of cars a year, which is where I think this company's going. Right now, they're doing hundreds of thousands a year. I think in the future, especially when you're talking about Model Y and getting distribution out there, and as these vehicles continue to ramp and sell very well, I think they're gonna get to a place where they sell millions of year. And if you're gonna to get to that place where you're doing millions, you're gonna need about seven to 10 locations. And uh, European Gigafactory, that should be announced within, probably probably within the next three months, but for sure within the next nine months, okay? That's the third thing we have coming for Tesla stock. Let's get into number four. All right, guys, the fourth thing we have coming for Tesla stock, this is something that I continually disrespect when it comes to Tesla's business model, okay? As someone that owns uh, 280 or 290 shares of Tesla, I consistently never even look at this business. I hardly ever talk about it, but Elon Musk said in yesterday's conference call that he thinks this business could be as big as the automobile business long term. He says this could be maybe even bigger than the automobile business long term. He said that on the conference call yesterday, and that is in regards to the solar business. So the solar business, Tesla hasn't paid it any mind for basically the past two years, but they're actually starting to ramp up that business now. The reason why they couldn't pay any mind basically the last couple years, is they needed all the cells possible to basically put into the Model 3 as that ramp. Now they have the capabilities where basically they can start to ramp their solar business back up. And uh, this is a business that is just, it's a, it's a wild card for Tesla. And it could just be the cherry on top on why this could become a massive, massive company in the future. My full bullish thesis, as you guys know, around Tesla really has to do with the fact that I believe they're going to sell millions of cars per year in the future. And I believe they're going to be the number one or number two player in autonomous taxi networks on a longer term basis. That's my main bullish thesis. And that's why I think this is a, could be a multi-thousand dollar stock in the future. The solar business, if that comes true, and Elon Musk is, is correct about this, and this business, it could be just as big as the automobile business long term. Like that just, that totally changes where you could value Tesla in the future. Like that puts it on a whole other stratosphere, okay? But needless to say, we're going to see a lot of ramping of the solar business over the coming months, the next, you know, two or three quarters at least. And then we'll see what happens once Model Y comes 
comes out. I don't know, maybe they'll you know tame things down a bit as far as the solar business goes. Um, but needless to say, that is very, very exciting. And you know, uh, when I hear Elon Musk say something like he thinks it could be that big of a business, like from a Tesla shareholder perspective, that is definitely, definitely very exciting. Because for me, like like why I'm in the stock has nothing to do with the solar business. That's just that's just that cherry on top, man, but on top of the whipped cream right there. Okay, let's get into number five. Alrighty, guys, the last and fifth thing that's going to happen for Tesla over the next nine months is the Model Y will start going in production. They're talking about summer 2020. Okay, it's about to be November already. November, December, January, February, March, April, May. Okay, so sometime within the next eight or nine months, more than likely the Model Y will start to go into production. Now, at first they're going to produce the higher end models. It's the same thing they did with the Model 3. But this is going to be exciting because I really believe the Model Y is going to do tremendously well in the United States specifically. I think the Model Y has a strong likelihood that it could outsell the Model 3 in some countries, including the United States, okay? I think a lot of folks out there, they just look at SUVs, and, and although it's not a huge SUV, they just look at the, you know, the extra headspace and just kind of the, the bigger style of an SUV, and they love that about it. And the fact that the Model Y is also gonna be a very fun vehicle, is gonna have all the features that all the, the Model 3s have, I think a lot of folks are gonna look at this, and it's actually not that much more expensive than a Model 3. I think a lot of folks are gonna look at this and say, you know what, I, I wasn't going to get a Model 3 because I'm not into cars, I need a little more space, but the Model Y, I'm going to get that because keep in mind, if you've ever wanted a Tesla SUV, you've had one option throughout the you know Tesla's history essentially, and that is the Model X. The Model X is like pretty much a hundred thousand plus dollar vehicle, so for you know uh, 90 plus percent of people out there, it's completely unrealistic to get a Model X. So even if they want an electric SUV so bad, they're not getting a Model X, it's just completely unrealistic unrealistic. But when you're talking about a $40,000, $50,000 price point, all of a sudden now you're starting to get to much more interesting levels and a lot of folks are going to love this. Okay, So the Model Y ramp is going to be very, very exciting for Tesla. Now the wild card, there's one wild card here that could come out. Okay, this could be shown off. I don't want to say come out. It could be shown off in the next nine months, but I didn't put it up here because I don't know. And that's the truck, okay? The truck, Elon Musk talked about it and said it's the best vehicle they've ever created. That's, that was his words on the conference call yesterday, okay? Best vehicle they've ever created. That could be shown off within the next nine months, but I'm not sure about that. We'll have to see if it actually is or not. Uh, I didn't want to put that up there because that's really a wild card. These other five things should for sure basically be coming over the next nine months. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video as always. Smash the thumbs up button, leave me a comment down there in the comment section, share this video with somebody. Thank you for watching, have a great day.